Hi guys, Alexio here, formerly of Team Shady Pilgrims. I think from now we'll call ourselves Team Shady Gravel. Since we're graveling, might as well put gravel in the name, right? Anyway guys, uh, hopefully this is just a short update. Today is a Monday, so Monday is a rest day. I want to update you on the past uh, training week, uh, how it's gone. So the video will be in three parts. Uh, I'll briefly go over the training and then I will talk a bit about uh, my preparation for uh, traveling for the event rather and a bit about the fundraiser. So, okay guys, so as I said, uh, today is Monday, Monday is a rest day. Uh, I had a one week of training. Uh, as I said in my last video, the plan was uh, to ride on almost all the days, um, apart from Monday, which is supposed to be a rest day. I managed to ride five out of seven days. Uh, and on one of those days, uh, I did a 10K run. And then the seventh day, of course, is, is today I rested. I thought I would swim on Saturday, uh, but the weather was so bad, so I decided uh, not to. And that's when I did the 10K run. Anyway. Um, so mostly I've been doing zone 2 work. So if you've been... For those of you who are on Strava and you've been looking at my Strava um, pictures, I've been trying to put uh, a snapshot of, of the amount of Zone 2 work I've been doing. So Zone 2 basically is uh, you're trying to not uh, raise your heart rate uh, too high. Uh, and they say there's benefits into that. And anyway, I'm doing it just to build a base uh, for the extra training I'll be doing in the coming weeks. So mostly zone two work, uh, approximately each ride has been about an hour. So that means this uh, past week I've done about five hours. If you include Sunday, and Saturday of last week, because I think I started on the first, which was a Saturday, if I'm not wrong. So that's about seven hours of uh, of, uh, of of cycling on the trainer. Okay. Um, so maybe some of you who are not familiar with uh, riding on a trainer or on the road might be thinking one hour might be a bit short. But uh, according to the experts, uh, I'll try and um, put uh, a screenshot here. Uh, they say that one hour of cycling on the trainer is almost the same as 90 minutes uh, cycling on the road. Because uh, on the trainer, you don't coast. You're always put, applying pressure on the pedals. So you end up um, working out more in the same amount of time than if you're riding on the road. So yeah, so the rides have been about one hour. They've gone pretty well, uh, approximately. So that means I've been doing approximately 30 kilometers every ride. Uh, on one or two of the days, I did uh, a bit of uh, climbing. And um, so even the coming week, uh, I think it will be mostly zone two uh, work. When I say the coming week, I mean the week starting tomorrow, uh, Tuesday. The training week starting Tuesday. So, um, yeah, I'll try and do a bit uh, longer rides, maybe one hour, 15 minutes to one hour, 30 minutes. Uh, I'm trying to, in Zwift, so I'm using Zwift uh, as a training app. And in Zwift, they have all these courses mapped out. And I've finished all the courses that are, are about 30 kilometers. So the ones I have left, 
at about 40, 45. So I'm thinking those ones will take me about one and a half hours. So anyway, Zwift is a good app uh, because it's sort of like gives you some extra motivation. You're in a virtual world. You're cycling with other guys. Uh, the guys you're cycling with, as much as they are virtual in the world, but it's an actual real person sitting somewhere else in the world, maybe in Australia or Hong Kong or the US. So it's pretty cool. Anyway, um, so yeah, as I said, so all my activities are on Strava. So for those guys who are on Strava, you can go out uh, and check my page. My page is open, it's not private. So I feel free to, to jump in and uh, check it out. So let's see, what else did I want to say? I wrote some notes because I don't want to keep on saying arm um, or while I'm thinking, I'm a slow thinker. So uh, again, just to finish off the training bit, I didn't mention this uh, in the last uh, video. There's some events I'm looking at uh, before I travel or before my, my scheduled travel. Uh, this is uh, on the 24th of August. We have the fourth leg of the Safari Gravel series. Remember, I qualified for UCI on the third leg, which was in Naivasha. So the fourth leg is going to be on the 24th of August in Vipingo at the coast. I can't recall ever doing a, a, a race at the coast. So it's, it's going to be new. That's if I make it. I'm looking at the logistics of going down there. Um, so yeah, it will be interesting um, racing there. It will be one of my preparation events. So um, it will give me a gauge of, of, of where I am. I'm not going to taper for it. If I do go, then maybe I'll take one or two days off the training because I have to drive down. So that should give me a bit more resting period. So it will be a good gauge of, of, of how strong I am compared to the loop, the, the Naivasha race. Because the Naivasha race, I was really, really strong. So anyway, um, just a summary of the events I'm looking at doing. So on the 24th of August, we have the Safari Gravel at Vipingo. On the 1st of September, we have the Forest XC. That's, uh, it's in a, a spot called the Forest. Uh, that's near Kimende. If you're a mountain biker, it's a mountain biking event. So if you're a mountain biker, plan and come out there. It's a really, really nice course, actually really tough. Uh, so that's going to be another good event to, to gauge uh, my strength. As I told you guys, I'm, I'm running. Uh, I have a, a long term goal with this running uh, because I want to reach to the point where I can do a marathon comfortably. But for now, it's just small baby steps. On the 8th of September, we have the Nairobi City Marathon that had been postponed. I had trained earlier for it. I think it was supposed to run in, in June or July, but then we had the Gen Z's uh, uprising, so <laughs> it didn't work out. So they moved it to 8th of September. So I'm going to do the half marathon. I've only done the half marathon once ever. I think I took two hours, 15 minutes. So. I'm going to try and bring that down to less than that. Hopefully around two hours. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. So that's on the 8th of September. On the 15th of September, we have the Sule Memorial Gravel Race. Uh, another great event uh, to gauge how the training is going to come along. It's going to be in Kajado, I think. The last one was in Kajado. Um, so yeah, and then the last event, uh, is on the 29th of, uh, uh, September. It's the Grand Nairobi bike race. This will be just one week before the gravel waltz. And, um, it's going to give me 
a really, really good measure of how all these weeks of training will have added up. Uh, if I can hold good power throughout the race, the race is usually about two hours. If I can hold good power throughout the race, I'll be happy because I think for the Worlds, that will be the most important thing. How much power can you hold through the whole race? It's going to be relatively flat, so it's just about holding power, holding power. So anyway, so that will be on the 29th of uh, Grand Nairobi race. And then the next weekend will be the 5th and 6th, which is supposed to be the, um, the World Series, uh, the World Championships. Anyway, so that's an update on the training. Uh, maybe there'll be more uh, next Monday. Okay, so on the event preparation. So first, uh, so I've reached, I tried to reach out to the Federation, see what kind of assistance uh, they can give us. And in any case, I did have to reach out to them because they're the, for, for me to be able to register for the race, I need to have a UCI license and that's given by your local federation. So first I'd like to thank Carol Mutura a lot. Uh, she's the one who's actually been following up uh, with the federation. Uh, she knows them better than myself. And she actually got the nine of us together into a WhatsApp group. And we are trying to see uh, how the federation can assist us. Um, so anyway, uh, I have my UCI's license now. So at least that's a check. And getting the UCI license uh, enabled me to register for the race. So I registered for the race. It cost me about, uh, it cost me 125 euros, which is about 18,000 shillings. Um, interesting thing is the elites get a free entry, but uh, if you're in the edge groups, you have to pay 125 euros. I don't know why. So, a bit about the federation. So, typically, in an ideal world or in a dream world, the federation would give me a ticket, they would pay my entry fee, they would pay my visa fee, they would give me accommodation while I'm there, they would give me a team kit, uh, they would give me some per diem to spend while I'm there. And on top of all that, ideally they would give me a bike, but you know, that's in an ideal world. So currently the feedback we've got from the Federation is that because they say that they had already given in their budget prior to us qualifying for this race. So because this was not budgeted for, there is no way they can help. And then again, it being an Olympics year, I guess all the money is going to the Olympics people. So in terms of money, in terms of maybe like supporting us on an airfare or something like that, I don't really uh, expect much. I'm not saying it's impossible. Maybe last minute something might come true, but at, at the current moment, uh, we, we don't see anything. So, but at least they've helped us get They've facilitated the UCI license, which has helped us, it has helped me register. I don't know if the others have registered. I registered. Uh, what else? So, um, yeah, so for me, the last thing that uh, in terms of logistics that can hold me up now is just the Schengen visa. Uh, and um, this coming week, I'm planning to look at all the requirements and submit uh, a visa application and see whether we'll get it. So that Schengen visa also is going to cost about 18,000 because I checked the website. The visa itself is 13,000 shillings and there's a mandatory service fee of about 4,300 shillings. So the Schengen visa will be 18, 18K. So in terms of preparation, that's where we are. Uh, the only stumbling block now is, uh, of course, it's 
the, sh the visa and then uh, money to go yeah all right so lastly guys the fundraiser the response has been unbelievable guys like i'm so touched i want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for all the support people have given me uh it's amazing uh, i didn't expect this kind of a response so thank you again thank you very much um what can i say a lot of people have also reached out uh there are people who have told me hey guy uh, uh, like alex i wish you all the best i'm not in a position to assist now but you know you go represent and i thank you for your calls and for your messages and the other interesting thing about um, the fundraiser is that uh, initially I thought I was really targeting like just people I know locally, um, my friends through cycling, my personal friends and whatever. But funnily enough, uh, the first donation came from someone in Denmark. Yeah, so thank you very much for that. The second donation was from someone in Australia. So that's why I've been really, really surprised. A former classmate of mine from Japan reached out and he said, I'm gonna send you a few yen, you know? My guys in America, my, my supporters in America, you know yourselves, thank you so much for the support. It means so much to me. So guys, all in all, the support has been overwhelming actually um if you go to the m changa page you will see that in one week we have already hit 72 percent of our target unbelievable and there are people who have sent directly to my mpesa if i add that it's almost 80 percent so uh, i don't think i think by the end of august i'm sure I'll have hit 100%, so I'm confident I should be able to be on the start line. The only thing that will be left will be the, the visa, and hopefully we'll get the visa. Anyway, guys, so another training block starting tomorrow. Uh, at least five rides, again zone two. Next coming week, I'm going to start doing a few uh, structured sets. And hopefully, I'll have built a good base uh, to, to, to carry me through. Yeah, so from the other week, I'll do a lot of stru mainly structured sets, you know, lactate thresholds, VO2, max thresholds, uh, things like that. Um, now, just to like sharpen the, 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 the top end power, you know. Uh, I think currently, the FTP is sitting at around 240, 245 from what I saw. It's not even 250. So let's see. We have time to try and, um, and improve on it. And that's it, guys. Um, next Monday will be another rest day. Hopefully, I'll have a shorter update. Sorry for it being too long this time. I had a lot to cover. Uh, next Monday should be a bit briefer. Uh, and as usual, stay with me, stay tuned, stay shh, shh. <laughs> the loo in me is coming out. <laughs> stay tuned and stay shady. Cheers, guys. <laughs>